Differences. Every person and every athlete has them. Derek Gordon's difference is one of a kind and backed up by courage. UMass basketball guard Derek Gordon has been through a lot in his life. His twin brother was accused of attempted murder. He's lived in Plainfield, New Jersey, where drugs and violence rampage the city. But today, he fought one of his biggest demons yet. Today, he announced he was the first Division I basketball player ever in history to be openly gay. I, I guess this is a big deal. Um, I'm the first openly Division I basketball player, so um, my teammates, they've been supporting me throughout all this. Um, and I'm just, honestly, I'm blessed to have this support team as far as my uh, teammates and coaches to be able to accept who I am and still treat me no different. Mm -hmm. so. It's actually a, a, a great conversation. Uh, I think DG, as we call him, was a, a little nervous at first, um, as any kid would be, uh, telling their coach about a decision that is uh, something that's, uh, you know, life a life decision for him. And, and I basically uh, explained to him, you can tell me anything. We've been together for a long time. We have a, a great relationship in them. You know, you just said, hey, coach, I'm gay. I mean, I hope, I hope you can come, you know, just hang out with us. I mean, that's, that's what we've all wanted. You know, we've always texted him and stuff like that. And now that he's comfortable and he's not in that, in that phase where he feels like he has to hide, I feel like he can come out and hang out with, with the squad. Now that he's come out, one of the major questions is how will he deal with the criticism and abuse of fans next season? Number one, I think he feels so strong in himself right now that that will help him. His teammates having his back will help him. His coach having his back will help him. And the fact that he's accepted by his family. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, uh, I can only imagine what, you know, like what the, uh, the opposite team's fans are going to say. I mean, they always say hurtful things and stuff. So, I mean, I think it's, it's something that we're obviously going to expect. But I think it's going to make us, you know, mad and really play together and kind of set a fire underneath us. Gordon turned to other athletes who have recently come out this year for support such as NFL draft prospect Michael Sam and Brooklyn Nets center Jason Collins. Seeing him in the NBA um, definitely gives me a lot more confidence than just goes to show that um, no matter what your sexual orientation is, you can play at the next level. Well, I'll tell you what, he, he explained uh, that he feels like he can fly now, so I'm looking forward to seeing that on the floor uh, when we start working out. But um, I, I, you can't tell that there's been a weight lifted off his shoulders, that his uh, demeanor is, is uh, much happier and much more lively. Adamo Pulzone, UMass Sports Weekly.